Don't get hurt leaving, please. <laughs> That was President Joe Biden there telling reporters, don't get hurt leaving, please. Who really knows what Biden meant when he said that, but it could be in reference to the fact the White House reporters are quickly ushered out of the room by his staff when a media appearance is finished. This has had Joe Biden in hot water since his presidency began, as he hardly ever sticks around to take questions from reporters. If you compare the pair, then it's a stark contrast from his predecessor, Donald Trump, who constantly took questions. In this particular situation, the president was holding a meeting with Argentine President Alberto Fernandez. When the bilateral meeting finished and the two shook hands, there was no option for journalists to ask either leader a question. His smirking, mouthing of words in response to reporters to not get hurt had some social media users confused. One person wrote, he is completely incompetent. Why hasn't he been removed yet? This is insane. Another wrote, malicious. Biden voters must be so proud, another wrote. Another said, and they still continue to cover for him. I just don't get it. Finally, everything this weirdo says is inappropriate and bizarre. Now, Joe Biden's lack of question taking has had him accused of not being transparent with the American people. He currently has held fewer press conferences than any previous president in recent history. Just last week, the president met with his Canadian counterpart, Justin Trudeau, and didn't take questions from the press when the meeting concluded. We got a lot done today. When the two leaders did take questions, Joe Biden slipped into old habits of reading off a pre-approved list. All right, uh, I guess the first person I'm calling on is Josh. Josh Brother, Josh. Earlier this month, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre copped an angry briefing room. She told reporters that they would have the opportunity to ask President Biden questions about an upcoming meeting with the Irish Prime Minister. But that prompted journalists to push back, saying Joe Biden never takes questions when a state leader visits. Here at the White House, you're going to have an opportunity uh, or your colleagues will have an opportunity uh, to ask questions uh, during the uh, the uh, pool spray uh, of the Oval at the Oval that that happened every time a, a, um, a, a head of state visits. So that is an opportunity uh, to be able to pose a question uh, to the president or uh, or the head of state that is visiting uh, the White House on that day. But again, this is coordinated. That's not true. No. He has, he's answered he's questions. It's not. Here's. Joe Biden and the press have certainly had a tumultuous relationship in the last two years. In October last year, the president was criticised after he smirked at reporters who were hurling questions at him. He can even be heard saying that the White House reporters are among the only press in the world that does this. Thank you. Let them get on with the meeting. Thank you very much.